okay so now in this video we will work on our player car and we will allow the player car to move forward backward and to the left and right side but before doing that let's go inside the vehicles wheels colliders and in the colliders let's add the wheel colliders now so let's start from the wheel back left right here add a component which is by the name of wheel collider if you turn on the gizmos you can see the wheel collider right here and if you don't see this wheel collider then make sure that you add rigid body to your player car main game object okay and then you will be able to see this vehicle collider right here let's make the radius of it as 0 0.3 and let's move this wheel collider a little bit to that position so actually let's go back let's first of all move it up here and that will be it okay you can see the wheel collider in there okay so we will leave this as it is as you can see this is the wheel collider just position it correctly to the wheel and then add it right there okay the radius of it will be 0 0.3 then the suspension distance will be 0 0.1 as you can see it moves forward when we change that value so now let's position it correctly again like that okay then if we open this settings right here make the spring of it as 1 lakh so unit 10 hundred thousand 10 thousand lakh okay make the temper as 2000 then if we check the other things it will be similar okay now if we click on this wheel back right okay right here we will add the vehicle collider as well so let's just copy component click on this one and then click on paste component as new so now as you can see right here we have added the wheel collider as well now let's select the other wheels as well the front two and right here click on paste component as new and now as you can see wheel colliders are added to four of the wheels okay so now we have added the colliders now what we will do inside the scripts folder let's go inside the player folder and right here let's create a script by the name of vehicle controller let's click on player car add the script right here at the top and then let's open this up now in here what we will do is first of all we will create a reference to our vehicle colliders and vehicle transforms so add a header at the top by the name of vehicle collider and if we get back to unity let me open up this transform and colliders and what we will do right here is move this front left and right above and right here as well that's it and make sure that the wheel right is uh, the first one and then the front left then the back right and then back left okay so right left right left like this and make sure the front are at the top and back at the bottom so set the wheels like this now get back to the script right here we will be creating references to our four wheel colliders so for that we will simply say public wheel collider okay this is the wheel collider component which we added to each of the wheel and then we name it as front right wheel front left wheel collider then back right wheel back left wheel okay then after this let's create a reference to our wheel transforms so for that we will first of all give a header by the name of wheel transforms and then in here we will create a references to each of our wheel transform okay starting from the front right then front left then back right and back left then let's create a header by the name of vehicle engine and in here let's create a public float by the name of acceleration force 
this will be equals to 100f by default then let's create a private float by the name of present acceleration and this will be equals to 0f then after this let's create a function by the name of move vehicle and as you know that we will be rotating the wheels by using the wheel collider okay so by using the wheel collider we will move our vehicle at uh, the front and back direction and to the left and right as well once we will be adding the steering for now we are just moving the vehicle forward and backward so for that we will say front right wheel collider dot motor torque it will be equals to present acceleration then we want our vehicle to be a front wheel drive okay if you know about cars there are front wheel drive back wheel drive and all wheel drive vehicles so if you want your car to be front wheel drive then just type this code for the front right and the front left and it will just rotate the front wheels and the vehicle will move forward and backward but if you want your vehicle to be all wheel drive then also add the back right and back left as well so now our vehicle is all wheel drive or you can say four wheel drive okay then after this we will set the present acceleration to the acceleration force and let's multiply that by input dot get axis and in here we will say vertical because on the W and S or the forward and backward arrow we want to move the vehicle front and at the back direction ok so now this will simply move the vehicle in the front and back direction also right here in the update function let's call this move vehicle function so move vehicle and that is it now if we save this get back to unity if we click on player car now as you can see it needs all of the things so let's start from the wheel colliders let's add the wheel collider right side front right then front left then back right and back left in the similar way let's add the transform front right front left then back right and then back left that is it now if we save this and let's play the game let me maximize the screen okay now if you press the W button as you can see our player is moving and also the vehicle is moving as you can see now if you press the S button okay now as you can see the vehicle is moving backward now if you press the W button as you can see the vehicle is moving forward as you can see okay but for now our player and vehicle are moving at the same time and actually we don't want that we will be fixing this issue don't worry because as you know that when we are driving the vehicle of course the player will be inside the vehicle so only the vehicle will be then moving okay so don't worry about that we will add that in our future videos but for now as you can see the vehicle can move forward backward and now let's end this video right here and in the next video we will continue our work on the player vehicle.